To create a batch of invoices, start by clicking on Invoicing in your navigation bar. Then click on the Create Invoice button. First, choose your date range if needed. The date fields are located at the top right. Please note that the start date is not checked by default, as the system knows the last time you billed your client. Choosing a specific start date will give you control to not include any unbilled activity prior to that date. Your billing through date is the date you would like your activity to stop at. Normally, this would be through the end of your previous month. From here, you will see the list of all clients and projects that currently have unbilled activity during the date range you choose. Check the boxes to the far left of the clients and projects you would like to bill. You will then see checkboxes appear in the center and to the right of your selected clients. The center boxes are your labor and expense items. Here, you can uncheck your labor items box if you just want to bill for the expenses at this time or vice versa. To the right, you have the ability to bill projects separately. Say, for example, you have multiple projects under a client. If the boxes to the right are unchecked, that means that all projects will show on one invoice, subgroup per project, and grand total at the bottom of your invoice. If you want each project to show up on separate invoices, you can check the boxes to the right. By selecting multiple clients and projects, this will automatically create an invoice batch. Once you are finished, click the Save button. At this point, you are at the Batch screen, which will show the list of invoices within the batch. From here, you can click Create PDF, Create Zip File, and Print to save or print each invoice in the batch. Clicking Edit will allow you to easily add or remove clients from this batch, as well as change the date range or change the invoice description for the batch. When editing a batch, you'll see all of the current invoices in the batch highlighted in green. Uncheck any clients you do not need in the batch or check more clients to add to the batch and click Save. Lastly, you can click the Delete button if you wish to delete the whole batch. Deleting the batch will not delete the entries listed. It will simply place those entries back to an unbilled status to bill again at a later time. Click into the first invoice at the top to get to the single pre-bill. Here you can make any adjustments or changes as needed to this single invoice. Make sure to watch the single invoice tutorial for further information on what options are available to edit on this screen. You can click Print or Create a PDF to view or save this single pre-bill. You can click to export to leads if you are on the legal bill for time plans. Clicking the Finalize button takes it out of the pre-bill status and automatically brings up the next invoice in the batch. You can also easily go to your next and previous invoices by clicking these buttons as well. To get back to the main batch page, click the Batch ID. If all invoices were reviewed and edited, you can finalize them all at the same time. Check the boxes to the far left of the invoices and click the Finalize button. You can go through the same process to unfinalize them as well. You can click the envelope icon next to each invoice to email your invoices to your clients. You can click to generate your invoice link to see what the invoices would look like if you were sending it today. The client portal will show the client the invoice and allow for them to print, create a PDF, and pay for the invoice right online if you are linked up with LawPay, Stripe, PayPal, or a custom link. To learn more, make sure to watch the client portal tutorial. Thank you for watching the Create Batch Invoices tutorial. Please click to continue watching for the next video in the series.